guys, it's time to spot the one because they're stupid. Yeah, they really eat no game. <laughs> Is that good? Hey, Tactical here, and today we're talking about these EG-18 smoke grenades from Enola Gay. I'm Tactical. You're, you're Tiki. I'm just trying to do your job for you so we can get through this faster. All right. So, Tactical, uh, what are some uses for a smoke grenade? Well, there's two major uses for tactical smoke grenades. One, meaning signaling. The important thing to remember is that the enemy should not know what your colors mean. So, your unit should change your color designation for different jobs as you signal to aircraft or artillery. That might be um, forward observers or, or rear observers. And so, um, it's important that your the other major use of smoke grenades, now they don't work very good at night, I just wanted to mention that. Um, IR um, lasers and flashlights work a lot better, they're used a lot more often for signaling. But, so, um, the other major use for smoke grenades like this is obscuring your movement. Now, eh, there's, a, it's relatively rare that you're gonna find situations where these are applicable, but they have their uses. So we're gonna do some tests here where we can observe and see what's gonna happen with people as they move between two points of open space. Yep. So what are those two uh, target zones doing out there? So those are going to represent a uh, span between two buildings. So we're going to say something like a firefight's going on, you got 12 guys in one building, they're kind of pinned down in that building and they want to move to the next building to get more positioning and to be able to move towards the enemy and kind of spread out and set a little bit of a better ambush point. But to move across that road there, that's some open space and that's going to leave them out, and they're going to leave them exposed. We're going to look what it looks like as they run across there without any concealment and then we're going to try to light off these smoke grenades and observe if there's any obscuring of the ability to see these people. So just to clarify, mm -hmm. these are not military grade smoke grenades. No, not at all. So this wire pole smoke grenade from Enola Gay is your typical Instagram smoke grenade. It's not really designed to do anything special. This one right here, the EG-18X, oh. is going to be very... Yeah, is that... There is somebody over there, but... What? What? Flash out! Oh shit! Ah! But but he was literally circling us. He was. Okay. Um, uh, continue. Anyways. Okay. So I'm holding here the EG18X. The speed at which this disperses smoke is supposedly twice as much as the EG18. It's going to produce as much smoke as the EG18, but it's going to diminish twice as or twice as fast which in theory is gonna be good for your quick concealment type situation where you want the most volume of smoke as you possibly can as you close that gap. All right, so now let's go. Oh shit, we're getting shot at. Go. All right, as you can see, not a lot of time on target, but a skilled marksman who's prepared and ready for that can definitely take pretty accurate shots as they move across that span. All right, now we're gonna go ahead and test back, kind of get some visual on that. Good job. I move pretty quickly. Pull that grenade out. All right. That's that smaller Instagram grenade. Smoked up a little bit. Pretty strong wind at about three to five miles an hour to the right. All right, go ahead, run! We're going to go ahead and move that grenade and see if we can get a better obscuring from the position. Luckily, he's got some gloves on. We're going to do it again. Okay. Let's see the effect of this type of grenade to obscure the color. Yeah. All right, go ahead. Go. Go. There we go. So we uh, positioned that grenade in a much better position in regards to the wind. And we saw that there was a nice little moment where the wind calmed down, nice flare up on the smoke, and that gave actually a pretty good obscuring uh, across the across the span there at 100 yards. All right, Tiki uh, stomped out the grenade a little early there, um, a little wasteful. Don't know why he did. What? Okay, yeah, seemed a little short-sighted. Calls me the idiot. All right, I'm ready for three. 
All right, I'm ready for three. Here we go. There's a manly call. They have no idea why I said it twice. All right, here we go. They're uh, gonna get that smoke grenade out there. Now they know the direction of the wind, so they kind of put it in a nice little corner there. Maybe it out a little bit. All right, we got that billowing smoke real good. Gonna wait for it. Pretty easy to see them as they first started, but at the end there, they were completely invisible. All right, go back! Do it again! Go, go, go! Okay, saw that smoke end, and then a little bit of that smoke kind of carried them across. All right, so there you go. You got to see the effectiveness of that smoke grenade and obscuring. Hey boss, how did I perform? It was pretty good. Um, so we got to see how well one civilian uh, smoke grenade at you know just the cost of $15 worked at obscuring you as you move from cover to cover. And it did a very good job at providing concealment. So for anybody out there that doesn't know the difference between cover and concealment, cover protects you from fire um, and concealment just uh, visually obscures you. So if you're standing behind, say, drywall and somebody's shooting a 50 cal at you, well, they can't see you, so you are in concealment, but you are not protected, so you are not behind. So the EG-18X, we have definitely noticed that it was a much shorter lifespan, but the volume of smoke was significantly bigger as we would have expected. Now, we had a little moment there when the wind kind of stopped with that first grenade, with that uh, Instagram, I'll call that the Instagram grenade, um, where the wind sort of stopped and it kind of pulled up a little bit, and then you got a really good run across without being seen pretty much at all. That was pretty cool that you guys got that in. The EG-18X definitely put out a lot more smoke but it never had that golden moment. If you had two or three of those out there, if you were in a street with no wind, or um, or if you could have gotten those the position of that grenade a little bit better, uh, we definitely could have seen some, I mean, essentially would have been invisible. Yeah, I saw you with, with, with both of the grenades, uh, that you weren't completely invisible, but it definitely made a difference as far as the quality of, of what it was I could shoot at, what it was I could expect to see. Hey guys, tell me if you like this style of video. It's a little bit different than what we normally do. For a preview of what we're show, gonna show you next week, check out this civilian style flashbang, uh, what is it called? Check out the Thunderbee flashbang training system. Flash out! Flash out! Yeah. <laughs> it is loud. Yeah, imagine that in like a warehouse where everything echoes. Yeah. How'd that go?